with anything. This is the 20th century. Have you been working for my father? Maybe. Do you mind me resting my hand in your lap? Maybe. It's so difficult having a rich and powerful father. Vamos.
everyone is naked. I can't tell if you're rich or poor, black or white. It doesn't matter because we're all naked. Designer clothes? Try designer nudism. My body was made by the best designer around. Mother Nature. That's why we're lobbying to build a naked casino in Vice City. So old people can gamble naked and... legislate morality? Can we tell people how to live their lives? Absolutely. Yes, of course I can. Just look at prohibition or, or the cultural revolution in China. We can learn a lot from history. Chairman Mao or Stalin, they purge their lands of degenerates and intellectuals, the scum of the earth in my book. And look at the great societies they built. People want to be told how to act. And most people are idiots, and that's exactly who my teachings appeal to. This lawless, permissive society has no boundaries. And without boundaries, how do you know where the limits are? You have to know what... a good time because I'm going out of my mind with worry here. What did you find out? That there are more criminals in this town than in prison. We need a leaf in the streets. Okay, let me think, let me think, let me think. Ah, I got it. Okay, there's this slimy, some music industry slime ball. Goes by the name of Kent Paul. Anyway, he's got his nose so far up most of Vice City's ass that if anybody knows the whereabouts of 20 keys of coke, it's this guy, all right? He's always at the Malibu. I will pay him a visit. Take it easy now. All of this emphasis on being thin and healthy. When my children are hungry, I hand them a spear and send them out to the park to catch their own food. They're learning how to be self-sufficient. Yesterday, my youngest, Jono, killed the postman, but at least he was trying. So I gave him a cuddle, I told him to hit daddy next time he comes home late, smelling of cheap perfume. Okay. It's time to take a break before we hear about any more criminal acts against government employees. You're listening to Pressing Issues. Morality is the subject at hand. Let's explain exactly how free radio without commercial breaks works. You're listening to VCPR. Finally, a radio station for teachers and librarians. You've been enjoying Pressing Issues. Roger that. Multisyllabic phrases like clean my shoes better than stuff or I'll report you to the IRS or dialectical materialism. Isn't it pleasant to have a patronizing voice on the radio? That's right, Michelle. With the way things are going under Reagan, at any moment the unwashed Huns from the Midwest could descend upon Vice City and enslave the poets and postal workers and force us to watch network programming. That is a frightening thought. But like many things in life, you can throw money at something and feel better about yourself. VCPR is your partner. I make her feel fine. Man, she lucky. She has me. I'm looking for some English guy. Ken Paul. Ken Paul, mate. Yeah, I'm the governor, Andy. I'll sort things out. No, I mean, I'll tell you. Whatever you want, I'll get you, girl. Don't you worry about a thing, mate. You're lost, honey. Oi, 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 oi. You Ken Paul? I'm a friend of Rosenberg's. 
Rosenberg. Rosenberg. Oh, that bonkers ambulance chaser. That guy could defend an innocent man all the way to death row. <laughs> Give us another drink, bruv. What is a comedian? Listen to me. I'm missing 20 keys and a lot of cash. Bruv, mate, it's a mug's game. What do you know about it? Oi, oi, all I was coming to was, there's some chef come trumpet shifter who builds that kitchen of Hotel and Ocean Drive. He's been looking real pleased with himself lately. You could go and check him out. I will. And I'll be seeing you around. That's right, go and walk away, you mug. I knock you spark out. Give me a drink. And where's that slut? Thrown back to the Stone Age. Liberals will be set on fire in the streets. Give now. Let's return to pressing issues. Over to you, Maurice, in the studio. Useless, talentless asshole. I love those guys. Really professional. They're living proof that all of the best talent isn't on commercial networks. These people do it for love. On this segment of the show, we are discussing morality. Since the beginning of time, man has asked questions. Why are we here? What time is it? And is there a place around here a guy can get a drink? Early man, as seen in the cave of Las Cols in France, questioned the morality of making the mammoth extinct. I think we all know what happened there. Is it society's job to tell each other how to live? Recently, my city considered passing a public curfew that says nobody can be on the streets after 8.30 p.m. Of course, the bill didn't get passed, but it made people think. If you don't vote, you get morons in charge. Is that moral? I'm not sure. Let's press the issue. Children should be at home with their parents naked. A curfew makes sense. Do you know how much money I save not having to wear trendy clothes? Read a history book. At the creation of the universe, the Big Bang, everyone was naked, even you. Why don't I stay by the divider? Maurice, please. Because nobody is interested in seeing your business. Because we have standards of decency. Hey, what you looking at? You better start talking. Hey, make me, you prick. Oh, way to go, tough guy. Beat him to a pulp. That should make him real chatty. You want some, too? Hey, chill. I want what you want, brother. Oh, yeah? Well, what's that? Your green and my dead brother's white lady. Unfortunately, you just silenced our lead. Accidents happen. Get lost. Hey, hey, whoa. No need to go on long range on my ass. The way I see it, we two hombres in a strange town. 
We need to watch each other's backs. My back's just fine, brother. You sure about that? Here, take this. Follow me. This way. thing you gotta realize about this town, you gotta pack some heat. The local gun shops a couple of blocks away. So I can't bring my wife back, but they make sure I didn't end up in the slam -up. I was unfortunate enough to be found 15 kilos in my spare time. I was so mad at the auto repair shop that saw me that time. Thanks to dealing on Murex, the district attorney saw it that way too. Uh, I accidentally tore a sick rookie heart when my medication ran out. <laughs> Charge. Screw you, man. Yeah. 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 
Need one drink. country. <laughs> if you want us to wish you well, dig deep and dig soon. That's right. At any moment, conservatives could vote to end our funding and place a fast food restaurant where our studios are. See, there are some people that think everything has to make money. It doesn't. That's why you should give now. Correct. Next week is Environmental Week, sponsored by my Batsu and the Vice City Power Corporation. And next month, we're celebrating... You. Oh, jeez. I'm gonna need new pants. Hey, those cycles from up north, they've been on the horn, and they're coming down here soon. Now, where is the goddamn money? Relax, relax. We're not at that point oh, yet. Oh, I thought that you were taking care of this. I really did. And now those guidos say we gotta do them a favor. You mean I gotta do them a favor? Oh, of course that's what I mean. Do I look like I can intimidate a jury? I couldn't intimidate a child, and believe me, I've tried. Now, look. It's either that or Pirelli's cousin Giorgio gets five years for fraud. You gotta take these guys out. I understand. Help the jury change their minds. Don't worry about it. No, 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 no. I tried that. The jury case didn't go so well. So make them change their minds. All right, more crap to wipe up. What did I do wrong in a past life? with plenty of coffee, tea, and cakes to liven up the trip, they set sail for the New World, which they heard had a magnificent roller coaster. Once they got here, they were very hungry, having been on a ship for 65 days. So they ate for three days straight. Thanksgiving quickly became an annual custom. America was founded by people who wanted a place where they could tell other people how to live. And I'm a history major. But do we have the right? The question, 
Is it moral to celebrate Thanksgiving, a holiday that is clearly about gluttony, annoying relatives, and awful casserole? Well, I for one love a casserole, and at my weekly meeting, my congregation has a potluck. You see, a casserole is a lot like life, Maurice, and that's the basis of my philosophy. If you put a bunch of leftovers from the fridge in a pan and bake it, somebody will probably eat it. It's like my book. You believe in your favorite sports team, then they get massacred. You believe in gravity, then it turns upside down on you. You love your favorite TV show, then the network ends it with a lousy finale. But you can believe in me, and if you believe in something, support it. It's one thing to love something, but if you don't shower it with money, then just don't talk to me. Communism, don't make me puke my guts out, please. Well, I myself love casseroles on Thanksgiving. And the way to teach your children the rich history of America is through theme parks. I just love Pilgrim World, especially the part where you get to slaughter your own buffalo and take home the meat, or give the locals the flu while buying their land off of our pittance. That's what children need. Uh, uh, what is? Wholesome activities that benefit the family. Now, what good is it if a kid plays Degeneratron for five hours? Oh, sure, he's killing space aliens, thank you very much, but it ain't putting food on the table. And he's learning bad language, like <laughs> When my family go out to dinner, we're starting from scratch. Even if Daddy is working late, again, we build our own spears, smear ourselves in dung, and then whip.